Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very interesting FNAF news video. I think this is the only time where I'm going into a video and I don't really know what I'm talking about. I mean, of course I know what I'm talking about, but the things I'm talking about, I don't know what they're for. So you may have noticed over the past couple of weeks, Lady Fizzy, who is one of the official artists for FNAF, you'll probably recognize her art in Pizza Sim and Ultimate Custom Night, and most likely the teaser images for the Twisted characters. But recently, she's been posting to the Five Nights at Freddy's subreddit some very interesting pieces of art. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the art, kind of theorizing, okay, what do I think these things are for? What do I think they're all about? But I I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think this art is all about? What's it for? Tell me in the comments down below. Hit the like button, subscribe for some more FNAF news, and let's hop into it. So first off, let's talk about Lally's Game, which is the first book in the upcoming Tales from the Pizza Plex short story book collection, and this is the cover. Now I'm guessing that this cover was made by Lady Fizzy because she left a comment on this Reddit post saying this was my favorite cover. I'm really looking forward to it. Now I think that she made this because she said this was my favorite cover not this is my favorite cover because if she was seeing this for the first time it would be all right this is my favorite cover but since i think she walked on it I think she means this was my favorite cover to draw, to make. So that's why I'm kind of grouping this book in with this video and all the other art. Now we know that these books will link to Security Breach. Some secrets are better left hidden. A forbidden artifact from her fiancé's past beckons to Selena. Jessica leads a double life from her friends and co-workers in the children's wing of a hospital. Maya can't resist the temptation to explore an off-limits area of Freddy Fat as Bear's Mega Pizzaplex. But in the world of FNAF, everything comes with a price to pay. In this first volume, FNAF creator Scott Cawthon spins three sinister novella-length stories from uncharted corners of his series' canon. Readers beware, this collection of terrifying tales is enough to rattle even the most hardened FNAF fans. So yeah, tales from the Pizzaplex, if you couldn't tell by Pizzaplex and one of the stories literally taking place in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex that is in Security Breach. These books are connected to the game, Security Breach. Who Lally is, I have no clue. We have heard of Lally before in, in Pizza Sim. I think his name was like Lally's Lollies and he was one of the advertisements, but this doesn't look like, but it doesn't look like Lally from Pizza Sim or Little Joe as he's called in Sister Location. So who this character is, how it links to SB, I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. But speaking of security, Breach, the first art we're gonna look at from Lady Fizzy is this. These, as I'm sure you could already tell, are what I'm assuming to be concept art of the FNAF Funko statues. I actually have it right there to put my Christmas tree on. This, and as you can see that, are pretty much the same thing. So I'm just assuming that these were early concept art that Lady Fizzy drew for Funko so that they can base the statues off of something. And you can see they're about the same Gregory hiding inside of Freddy. And this is Vanny and Vanessa statue, again basically the same thing. Though the settings of where they're standing are completely different. Right, for Vanny and Vanessa in the final product, they have a plant behind them. And then for Freddy and Gregory, it's a wall, and Vanny's peeking out behind that wall. But concept art for Funko's merchandise isn't that exciting, so let's move on. This next post is called Creepy slash Friendly Faces. I do not even know what to think here. So obviously, these are some brand new version of the toy animatronics from FNAF 2, right? You've got Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie, and Toy Freddy, but they've taken on a more unsettling of Appearance. I think some people like to use the word vintage, but I think in this case, I'm gonna say unsettling. So instead of being made out of complete plastic, they're now made out of fur. It looks like their faces now have molds for their mask, and also their stomach can open up, right? As you can see in the concept sketches, their stomachs can open up as well as their faces. Now in the final drawings, it doesn't look like their face can open up, just their stomachs, which is interesting because the drawings at the top don't show them having molded faces. It doesn't show them having the ability to open up their stomachs, right? I think they're just stylized furry toy animatronic versions. But again, in the drawing, in the final drawing, their stomachs open up and they have molds on their mask. Now again, what these characters are for, I don't know. This is copyrighted by Scott. 
So these are official. I don't think it's a new game. If it was, I feel like this would not have been posted. This simply might have just been old, you know, rejected designs for some book right and that's why it was posted right it was for something in the past but it didn't turn out right so they just scrapped it entirely but it's also just so interesting to think what were these for because obviously they're for something right i highly doubt lady fizzy just sketched and designed these new characters out of out of pure boredom right it has copyright scott coffin so obviously scott wanted these designs for a reason are we gonna see them sometime in the future I don't know, are we ever gonna find out what they were originally used for? I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And now let's move on to the final drawing. This one is titled Hallway and Boy, and it appears to be two separate images kind of mashed together. So one drawing is the hallway and the other one is the boy. Who the boy is? I don't know. Again, it has copyright Scott Cawthon, so these are technically official. People have pointed out a lot of very interesting details in the hallway. Number one, there's a clock, or what appears to be a clock, that has a moon face on it. Now, it could just be a random detail, but we do now have a moon animatronic moon drop in Security Breach. Number two, there is a broken cup of what looks like coffee. I don't know who threw that. I don't know if it's actually coffee. I don't know, it could be something else. But for some reason, there was a broken cup on the floor. There's a few picture frames and artifacts, a baby doll, a goose, what looks like a presenter woman, right? She looks all dressed up. She has a cane. It looks like she has a hat very similar to Ringmaster Foxy, actually. And there's a portrait of a woman who people are saying looks like Ballora. And yeah, I can kind of see that. And then we have the boy. Again, I don't know who this boy is. I don't know what this art was going to be for. I think a lot of people are assuming it's for some book, right? Some graphic novel of some kind, or just illustrations that were gonna be used in a book at some point. And I can definitely see that. Again, I could be wrong. I have no clue what any of this art is for. Whether or not we're gonna see it in the future, I don't know. This could be something in the past that just was rejected. And so Lady Fizzy was like, all right, well, if these aren't going to be used, I'll just post them for fans to enjoy. I don't know, but it's super interesting. Tell me, what do you guys think all of this is for, right? The new versions of the toy animatronics with the stomach and the and the moving face plates. What do you think the boy's for? Who do you think Lally is? Do you think he's the same as Lally's lollies? How does it tie into Security Breach? Whose house is that in the hallway? And hopefully sometime in the future, we can get all of these questions answered. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.